It's a great asset. It's a great asset, but it's not a great asset in the United States unless they have the approval of the United States. U.S. President Donald Trump abruptly reversed course on TikTok on Monday, just a few days after he said he was planning on banning the China-owned video app in the U.S. Trump on Monday said the U.S. government should get a substantial cut of the sales price of the U.S. operations of the company. He warned he will ban the service in the United States on September 15th without a sale. TikTok is valued at about $50 billion, according to some investors. I did say that uh, if you buy it, whatever the price is, that goes to whoever owns it, because I guess it's China, essentially, but more than anything else. I said a very substantial portion of that price is going to have to come into the Treasury of the United States, because we're making it possible for this deal to happen. Right now, they don't have any rights unless we give it to them. So if we're going to give them the rights, then it has to come into, it has to come into this country. It's a little bit like the landlord-tenant. Uh, without a lease, the tenant has nothing. It was not clear how the U.S. government would receive part of the purchase price. Trump's comments confirmed a Reuters report Sunday that he had agreed to give China's ByteDance, TikTok's parent company, 45 days to negotiate a sale of the popular short video app to Microsoft. U.S. officials have said TikTok poses a national security risk because of the personal data it handles.